changing the looks, we're changing the sound, and we have new wheels. So we're gonna be the first one in the world, at least on YouTube, that has done something like this. Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, there's so much going on. I feel like my head's gonna explode. This video's gonna be filmed over like a few days process and it's all in preparation lead up to Mustang week. So what's going on with the Mustang? Because a lot. We're changing the looks, we're changing the sound. Uh, we did some cool stuff in the back, I'll show you in a second. And we have new wheels. So, I was borrowing my buddy's 20s, but boom. We got the SVE. CFX, I think is what they're called, 20 by 10, 20 by 11, and they look so sexy. We got some more stuff going on up here in the front. Anyway, for the rear, we did something really cool. Last video, don't know if you caught it, but we were doing some cutting on the rear valance. You want a quad tip on a single tip or non-active car. I got two stock valances for non-active, so the single tips on each side. Something's different. Got some dark horse axle backs. This is really just a temporary placeholder for the title and thumbnail of today's video as you guys know uh, definitely sits down lower you can see that the tips like swoop down whereas like these come pretty much straight out I've seen this done online a couple of times where they actually like cut in and I don't know if I am in love with that look or it would look better if the tips were up higher once the new exhaust comes in I'm gonna fit the new exhaust this balance with this configuration and then I'm gonna get the precise measurements and then I think what we're gonna do is use this other one over here I'm gonna make uh, the cuts a little bit cleaner anyway I digress let's get the other wheels on better let me know in the comments do you like them do you not of course we're gonna roll it out in the sunlight eventually and you get to see what these things look like in the daylight day three New exhaust is going to be here in a couple of hours. Uh, by the way, check out the video description down below. We got tons of discount codes. So the exhaust is just part of it. We're doing like 19 different things. But anyway, but now it's time to take off this dark horse placeholder, this OEM exhaust that we got to test out. And sounds great. But it's time for the new new. All right, so check it out. What we did is I pulled the bumper and I put the other diffuser on there and I made some better cuts. In the beginning of this video, I had originally cut this out and it gives us kind of an idea of what things are going to look like all we really need to do is once the new exhaust comes in let's really go to the shop and see if we can like raise up this uh system now the oem dark horse you see how it sweeps down so the new courses system is not going to do it's going to come straight out so what we have to do is so i think in theory all we need to do to make this work is just shorten that hanger once we actually have the new system installed i'm going to clean this up a little bit over here make it look nice and pretty that's just like one thing there's like five other different things we're doing today something more to do with the wheels and the front end of the car oh and by the way we've got a surprise coming at the end of this video for you guys the product just released like yesterday I saw it immediately purchase it it's gonna get delivered tomorrow same video for you I think unless I split this up I don't really know this is what we do yes yeah, kind of cool we haven't done anything really cool lately like anything really custom and this is pretty neat actually so we're gonna be the first one in the world at least on YouTube that has done something like this but yeah what's up all right we are here today well let me I just got attacked by a bug. Uh, we finally have the exhaust. I had to actually chase it down. I had to chase the FedEx driver because it delivered to the wrong address. Found him in the neighborhood and we got it figured out. But uh, yeah, they're a little scary. Doesn't matter. We found the box. It is here. This is the all new Corsa Dark Horse exhaust. This system will actually fit that car. That's a Dark Horse. You're my buddy, James. And he wanted to come over and give us a hand, you know, so appreciate him. But he's got a beautiful white, Oxford white handling package, Dark Horse there. So we, this system will actually fit on that car, but we're going to put it on my Mustang. And we're going to have to fab up a couple little things. Truthfully, this is something that most people will not do, but hey, we're being creative. And uh, there is a little bit of a difference from what I've heard with this system on a Dark Horse. It is a a little bit different than a Corsa system on a regular GT. So something maybe in the muffler design or whatever. Tips are going to be spaced out a little bit more. It's just going to be kind of a unique look. So let's open it up. Voila. 
All right, cool. Most people will just opt, like I said, for the regular Mustang GT exhaust, but I like the bigger tips. They're spaced a little bit more. It's gonna be more aggressive. We got the double X pipe. Eventually, we'll play around with the double H and see how that sounds too. Here we go. All right, let me lay it out. Let's get it unpacked, lay it out, show you what's what. The new muffler looks about the same size as the GT, but the big difference here is that we have huge monstrous tips. If you're familiar with the regular GT system, the tip placement is a lot closer on those. Whereas here, there's about a two inch or so spread between them. So it's gonna make the tips look a little bit further apart and it's gonna look just amazing. So of course you got the butterfly valves. We're gonna lock these out for now and try to figure out later on how to do or wire up active exhaust on a non-active car, but we're gonna make it fit. So this is all just being creative. We gotta put it on the car real quick, take it to a muffler shop, cause I don't know how to weld. But, oh, the other thing too, check it out the inside there. So hot, but we got it done. Check this out. We got the NY top diffuser and matte carbon fiber back on the car. This makes all the difference. And this piece is solely why I wanted to continue to run this diffuser and, and cut it and not jump to the dark horse. I mean, it's a GT, it's not a dark horse, and this is just something else that's kind of custom behind the car. But here we go, dark horse Corsa installed, looking absolutely killer. So we got the bigger tips, I believe they're like four and a half inch. I mean, <laughs> it makes such a huge difference. Let me back up. Oh yes. Huge, huge difference over what we had before. I mean, this is the way that these cars should have come from the factory with like a four and a half inch temp. And then the dark horse being like five inch. This GT with all the sea of black back here, which is controversial for the S650 to some people. I really think that Ford needs to opt for bigger tips. Something like this from the factory, but Corsa has solved it. Again, links down below in the description for discount codes on something like this. Carbon, the exhaust, everything we got in the car, everything we have installed in the car, links down below. How do we make it work? What we basically did, let's see if we can get a good shot of this. All right, so here's your hanger. It's a little bit longer on the dark horse versus the GT. So what we did was we cut an inch and then re-weld it. So just brought this entire muffler up one inch and it sold it on both sides. So pretty crafty, pretty good ideas from the muffler shop that we took it to and everything is looking so much better. It looked good before, but it was dropped down quite a bit, just like that exhaust over there, <laughs> the regular Dark Horse OEM mufflers, but now we got it raised up a little bit and it sits nice and even at home inside of this diffuser. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you think? But we have more stuff to do to the car, a ton more actually, a lot of mods in one video. We're just gonna keep breezing through it and getting this car ready for Mustang week. And then you guys will get to see this car in person. We will fire it up in just a moment. I'm just letting the car cool back down so you get a little bit of a cold start and then let it hear it idle, rev. We'll do the driving review and all that stuff. Not sure in this video or the next, but I digress guys. Let's continue on, let's keep modding. We got these new SVE wheels. This is the CFX SVE. Uh, which is basically a GT500 like 2020 model replica. Anyway, what I don't like is we added this carbon trim here, kind of like a Dark Horse has or like a Mach 1, but the offset is sunk in. So what we want to do is space that out about a half inch and you can't do that with the stock. Uh, studs. So we're going to extend them. We've got some ARPs getting delivered hopefully in about an hour or so and then we're going to knock these out, put the ARPs in there with our open bolt lugs and then a spacer behind and see if that will work and then it'll bring, you guys can tell, we want to bring that out about a half inch. Wish me luck. Let's go. All right, forgot to mention we're also doing something up here in the front of the car. Get rid of this grill. We've got uh, actually two different grills coming. One's here, one's getting delivered tomorrow, and we're gonna we're gonna test out and see which one I like best. But one of them is brand new to the market. It just hit the market. Nobody else has got it yet. And if you're hopefully still here watching, you're gonna get to see it firsthand. Gosh, it's hot. It's so hot, guys. It's killing me. Um, might be a separate video. I might actually wrap it. Duh, I can't speak. Might actually make the grill its own video because it is so new and nobody else has it. Make sure you guys are subscribed in case you don't see it in this video. You can catch the next one for the install and you can see what in the world it is because I think you're gonna like it.
it is early. I got the wheel studs all swapped out. Really not that bad, you just bang them out. It's a 20 by 10, 20 by 11 is in the rear. It's a 275, 35, 20, and a 305, 35, 20 in the rear. The back sits okay, but the front with the fender trim, it just it just sinks in too much. So this is like a 35, I think it's a 35 uh, positive offset or something like that. But anyway, the way to do this safely, you now on your factory OEM wheels, you can get away, because I have uh, for about 7,500 miles and in the past as well with other cars, a 25, maybe even all the way down to the bottom of like a 23 millimeter hub and lug centric spacer. Uh, with your OEM wheels and it makes it really flush but you know with these being aftermarket uh, to get them to extend just a little bit further you know as I, I bought some spacers they are lug and hub centric they're the safe ones that you're supposed to use but you can't do that with OEM studs so we have to replace them so I chose to go with you know uh, ARP I'm gonna try a couple different ones so I've got a five millimeter and then I've also got a 12 millimeter I think it is so I think what I actually need is something in between like maybe like an A and I will order that at some point later on. Yeah, I just don't want the tire to like crash into the bottom of the fender. That would be uh, pretty bad. But anyway, moving on. So it's time for actually the first start. This car's been sitting overnight because we're in day four. Let's fire it up. Let's go. Let's go. 